we're doing a live show. I don't know much more outside of that. Uh, are they ready? Okay, let's go. Welcome to our first live game night. Ready to have some fun or what, huh? We just did Tiger Belly Live, their first ever game show live, and it felt like family. The energy of the room is fucking big ass energy. <laughs> words for your vibes? I should have picked a different guy. <laughs> Hilarious. I came in not knowing what to expect and we were both dying the entire time. Oh. They're not really sugarcoating anything and it feels genuine. I am obviously a little high. <laughs> Best game show beyond anything I could have expected. Good night everybody! You guys, the greatest show on earth is what we did in LA a couple of months back. It was Tiger Belly Live. It's so great. And we are coming to a city near you if you live in Dallas, um, what's that, Austin, or Seattle. Those are great <laughs> cities. You guys, <laughs> Bobby Lee and Kalila live, right? We're doing our game show live. Um, it's going to be the greatest time of your lives. It's intimate. Um, we're going to love each other. Uh, you're going to love us. Tell us, hit the you, link below. You guys, oh, yeah. honestly, like not to toot our own horns, but this is quite possibly the most interactive, most fun show you'll go to in a really long time. So um, Dallas, Austin, Seattle, we're coming for you. So go to tigerbellylive.com and get your tickets now. How long does it take to change the shirts, Bobby? <laughs> Are you pulling? Yeah. There he is. Ooh, cutie pie. Oh. Here he is. Very nice. Holiday. <laughs> Son of a bitch, you're dumb. You look like one of Santa's elves. <laughs> He's gonna change the shirt. Don't. You keep it. Just say you look cute. Switch, Let's see how many switch, times switch, switch you can comment. comment on his clothes when we change the yeah, shirt yeah. throughout the pod. Bro, this is the first. No, this is the first day we met. We're not allowed. Oh, well, we can do this. Yeah. Well, how All right. We can do this then. You, you and I. Yeah. We can. We can, can you put the mic in your mouth? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't usually take them this big. Pause. But like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I could talk into it. All right, how can I do it, dog? <laughs> lean so, back though. Yo, why you so, why you so, why you lean forward? Cause, I, cause if I lean back, wait, I can lean. There back we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I get scrunched balls this way. Like I'd rather lean forward and talk. Cause if you lean back and try to talk, you know what you like to look. You know what you look like to me, bro. What? Without the spirituality, Buddha. <laughs> oh, Buddha. Like, without the I spirituality. Like I, yeah, I mean, like just a re regular old thick black guy. Hey, yo, <laughs> thick black. <laughs> thick black I, I, guy. Asian guy. Asian guy. Asian guy. <laughs> Fuck, I said called you black. Sorry. My, yo, turn my mic up. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Dude, oh, yeah. sit back. You're throwing me off, dude. <laughs> when you just stood there, I said black for some reason. <laughs> that, was the <laughs> me up. that was the nicest thing Don't ever do ever said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wild, dude. I mean, Thank from the waist so down, much, Bobby. <laughs> the waist down, you're black. I can tell. <laughs> Let me see. Let's start off. You don't ever do that again, man. All right, I love you, man. Thank Yo, you for coming is there, up. You guys like offer we start? water to your guests? Yeah. Yeah, we got yeah, water, water, Red Bull. Yeah. We're, aren't we started? Oh my God, you're the first person. Liquid we death. usually have a La Colombe. Yeah, where's his drinks? No, it's cool. Water. I just, yeah, you, you got, got water right I there. thought this was a malt liquor. <laughs> no, no, it's not malt liquor. Look at this <laughs> dirty fucking. Wow. We got a dirty. Tongue here. Let's just, <laughs> dirty, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dirty Giant little house, you. man. Yeah, that's your, your sequel for us uh, fresh off the boat. Yeah, it's dirty little. <laughs> <laughs> I, I that's like, right, it, dude. I, dirty I, little. Yo, what's I'm what's the premise? What's what? the premise of dirty little? Well, he's Ching. I'm Chong. Yeah, <laughs> right. And we in the and house. we're really dirty. <laughs> And you just live, live in the house? No, we, we live with pigs. Yeah, we really should do a buddy cop comedy. Yeah, you know? dude. Yeah. Dur David Cho's got to be in it. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, he is the uh, leader of something. <laughs> something. I don't know. The Dirty three of us though. should just like remake a Tropic Thunder. You know? Yeah. yeah. But you land in um, the opposite of where Tropic Thunder is shot, which yeah. is usually Asia, Southeast Asia. So you have to be thrown yes. into like an ultra white like environment. Like El Paso, Texas. I, I, got yeah. movie, I, I got a movie idea. I'm yeah. going to pitch it to you, okay? Yeah. And I've been thinking about this. Yo, I think I realize why you're always funnier than your guests on this pod is because this mic cuts out every like fifth word. Every time he so talks. you know I talk oh, slower now. You now? see, I talk slow. I'm I'm talking like Ice Cube raps now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> see that? Yeah. It cut out a word. 
Yo, y'all do that on purpose so people don't have timing. They're not as funny as you. No, that's not what you're. This is so this is fucking what you're doing. Asian. This is oh, so fuck. Asian. Eddie, Eddie, this is what you're doing. So Asian. So it's good to be here. That's what you're doing. Yo, just speak yo, normally. Yo. <laughs> yeah. No, this is. Yeah, let, let me just start. Yo, you're cheating, man. <laughs> Yo, oh, bro. Now I'm not going to be as funny as you because every fifth word cuts out and I got to talk like Ice Cube. <laughs> it's fine. Nothing cut out just now during that monologue. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let me pitch you my movie idea. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right? Yeah. So check it out. Mm -hmm. So it's basically, it's three losers, Korean okay. dudes. Okay. Right? We're our age. Word. Can right? I be Korean? I do. Yo, at the bodegas in New York, they would give me the Korean discount because I look Korean. Dude, I literally and I thought, thought that was Korean a compliment. Until today, I thought that was they were complimenting yeah. my skin. You have the hair. you have the downsy eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and what it's, it's you, flatter. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Flatter. What do you think he is? I know he's Chinese because he told me. Oh, okay. But yeah, I really, look Korean. He walked in like that. I'm Chinese! You know what I mean? I'm like, all right, relax, Eddie. No, he asked me why I was, <laughs> he asked me why I was early, and I was like, I'm right. Chinese. You know? Yeah, like, that's what he said. I just uh, tried too hard. Open that way. I tried so, way too hard. Can I pitch hard. my movie idea? Yeah, please, please. All right, so it's basically three Korean dudes, uh -huh. losers, leaving Koreatown, uh -huh. and my great-grandfather dies. He's still alive. He was 110. Wow. Was it too much already? No, that's... <laughs> my grandma died at 101. Okay, so on the freeway? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. No, she, my she, uncle died at 110. No, she. <laughs> at the 110 freeway, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, pretty much at the 101. At the 101. Yeah. Oh, bless, and, bless her soul. Yeah. All right. How many bless souls soul. she got? Her, her souls. Bless her soul. Bless her soul. Bless her soul. Let me finish my fucking thing. Basically, what it is is this, okay? <laughs> that my grandfather, it was, was great grandfather was rich. Yeah, and I'm his great grandson, uh -huh. and it's during his will. You know how you go to the all office and they give you the will. Yeah, I was left with everyone got money and shit, but I was left with a map. What? Yeah. So check during the Korean War. In real life, this happened to you? No, this is a movie I picked. Oh, oh, oh I thought <laughs> talking I thought about. You really got a fucking. What are you treasure. talking about, dude? I was like, yo, what are we doing doing this podcast? <laughs> Let's find one eyed grandpa's treasure. <laughs> I'll be data. <laughs> So during the Korean War, he buried a, a treasure, uh -huh. right? He yeah. was a soldier. Yeah. But he buried it in a place where, because there was no DMZ line then. Oh. Mm. Right? So we figure out this treasure is in North Korea. Mm. Right? So we're but three losers. We have to go to Korea and try to figure out how to get to this but treasure. Maybe it's just 10 yards past the line. So you don't even need to go that far. In the movie? No, it, no I'm just saying this treasure is buried right at the line, but you don't even need to go far into North Korea. It's right. just a little bit past the DMZ well, that, line. That would, like, the stakes are lower then. No, 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 because the DMZ Boy, line... you're not even in... You're, are you a producer just, now just, in the movie? Yes, I am. <laughs> you're not a writer no. in the movie. You have nothing to do with it, dude. How dare you? I will be a writer in this movie. She's a writer. I feel like, you know, she could be a writer in the movie, but personally, I would like to get up into, like, the butthole of North Korea. Like, I want to see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's exactly like, my, what my like, gut was. Yeah, we yeah, want to see North Korea. It would Korea. be funny if looks Treasure wonderful. was literally in his garden. Kim Jong-un's garden. Oh, beautiful. That's how close, beautiful. you know what I mean? We figure out, it's in his fucking garden, you know what I mean? And so we have to figure that out. What do you think of that premise? I have another pitch. I want to go to Kim Jong-un's garden. That's personal. So you guys befriend... That's the fucking movie call. Yeah. No, Kim but Jong Un's garden. garden. Oh. Also but right then you, you befriend or a WNBA player. <laughs> Either one. Yeah. What? You be befriend a woman like a Britney Griner type, mm. who you know is already taking trips to North Korea. <laughs> what? Because she's on. Because she, North Korea has some sort of women's basketball league. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> I would, Imagine. Okay. If she, okay, let me just. Yo, this, you like know this what would be an ill movie? Though, That's a great movie. Is if we were helping like Britney Griner pioneer bringing like weed to North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, Britney Griner's turning an underground railroad from <laughs> South Korea into North Korea to For bring weed, weed to, yeah. yeah, to bless the country with weed. I'm like, that's a good cause. Yeah, I, was, I would give my life. But maybe there's like a little hip hop movement or something going on. Yo, you're too. taking the words out again. They're doing. It. I got too fucking funny. I, the mic did it automatic. That's uh, why I don't wear the cans over my yeah. head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Because you're not, it's the earphones, it's not the mic. I oh. hear every dirty, yeah. ugly wow, thing you're wow, saying. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay? No, Your just, voice is. My bad. We were talking my about ears Britney bleed. Griner yeah, yeah. becoming like, you know. And we're, how about we're smuggling albums there too? Out, amazing. Like the Fuji's album? Yeah. What was that one called? Uh, right, uh, oh my God, The Score. The yeah, Score. Yeah, 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 Great yeah, album. Yeah. yeah. We Incredible. get The Score. We get. Uh, Low in theory. Oh, amazing. Amazing, right? Amazing. And also dog tranquilizer. Have you seen like people are really uh, actual drug, dog, tra dog trank now? They're cutting the shit with dog trank. 
Wait, wait, is wait, it wait, different wait. from like ketamine, like horse drink? Yeah, because it'll melt your arm. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Dog tranquilizer. Dude, people are cutting. Are, are drugs shooting with dog straight drink, drug tranquilizer? Yeah. I saw it in the LA Times. Someone's, your arm like dissolves. Yeah, well, then I don't want it. I like my arms. Word. Can you do it on your legs? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, <laughs> if you're going to bring in all I the know. fire shit, you should probably bring dog drink, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah, that's what you're saying? Yeah. I, also, what? you could just inject your enemies or people coming. We trank them with dog mm-hmm. tranquilizer. Well, no, what one of the guys... They don't is have a di- yeah. No, one of the guys... This isn't is the premise di- of the film that we're bringing great stuff to North Korea, but also some bad stuff. So yeah, that, but like, one of yeah. guy, one of you the characters are horsing, addicted though. to the dr- dr- dog trance, but then we use it. To tranquilize others. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the movie. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then... Um, and it's like Tropic Thunder meets Dallas Buyers Club. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. Wait, Dallas... Didn't he have HIV? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I- I'll have HIV in it. But weren't, didn't it have something <laughs> to do with... Well, why not? If we're yeah. going to combine the yeah, two... Do so have he... it? I want lesions. <laughs> okay. But, like, but, but CGI, I'm in. Okay. Oh. Right? You don't want mm-hmm. makeup four mm-hmm. hours ahead of time? No, I think in this movie we're raw. Raw. Because, n- be number raw. one, we don't need makeup, do we? No. Why well, have liver spots? Do you? No. I mean, I, I don't think so. No, he do I? Yeah, you You're don't. How old yet. are you right now? I'm 40. Yeah, you'll get them at 48. Fuck, dude, don't do that to me. How old are you? 51. Oh my, you're 50 something? <laughs> Son, no, that makes sense though, because I like didn't have pubes when you were on Mad TV. I remember. <laughs> I didn't have pubes because I was, I was like watching TV. your show before I started jerking off. So I was like, okay, that's. Did early. you jerk off to me? No. Why not? Cause I was, I didn't even have pubes yet. I didn't know. All right, all right. It took me a while to feel. I was like a stupid kid. Like I was humping the couch. You know oh, what I'm saying? I've done that. I didn't know to like jerk it. I was like, oh, this thing is hard. Let me just rub it on some. Sh-. I was a dog. Like, arr, 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 oh, yeah, arr. I know, you know what dogs like, sound like. Yeah, yeah. But just to let you know, I saw. You didn't hump things. What's up with dogs? There's like you know three kennels oh, yeah, outside, but no dogs. Oh yeah, because we rescue a lot. Yeah. Oh, and then yeah. you give them back. I dug oh, a hole in the earth and I fucked the earth. Oh, yeah, he did oh, fuck the earth man. as a child. Instead of humping couches, he put his um, <sighs> dick in, in the soil. soil. Because I, 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 I thought it was like if I come in the soil, yeah. another one of me will grow. <laughs> 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 How cool, cool would that be? How that cool would that be? That would be sick. That yeah. would be sick. It's like if you could cut an onion in half and jizz in it and then put it in the dirt and then it became you, that would be crazy. Why you onion? engineering? What do you mean onion? Just because you know how Roots. you could, like, as a kid, yeah. you just put an onion in, like, water. And it oh, that's gross. Gross. Yeah. It does? Like potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. That's yeah. why I didn't try get that. Just in an onion done and try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you think as a kid that you, if you ate a watermelon seed that you would grow a watermelon in your belly? Yes. Yeah. Wait, yeah. that's a thing? I was scared of it. I was scared of it, Because my parents told me, so I spit out all the watermelon seeds. Y- yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Little yeah. did I know, my dad just wanted to chew them while watching kung fu films. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my dad would make up his own wives' tales. Like oh, what? my parents. My dad, I would, I watch the TV too, too close, and he goes, "If you watch TV that close, grandpa gonna die." Oof. Same with and I go, "Grandpa Damn. died," and he goes, "You did it." <laughs> what? Like he told me, you know what I mean? After he died, which I killed grandpa. Jesus. Wow. Yeah. With the TV. Like ours with if you went to sleep with your hair wet, you'd wake up blind. And mm-hmm. another thing is if you had if you caught lice, they would airlift you into another dimension. <laughs> I've never watched I like, like that airlift. one. That's a crazy yeah. one. You wake up and you're like, where am I? And the lice took you there. Would the, would the lice have little propellers? Mm. But okay. see, that's hard too because I wouldn't even know how to not get lice as a kid. You know what I mean? Like, No, what do you mean? I've never had it. I've had it so many times. What? They're so Wait, fun. you had lice? I've never had it. But Me I'm either. saying the people who get lice, you just get it. It's not like you tried. Oh, no right? one's had lice? What's no, wrong with no, you guys? No, no, the people that have lice are lice people. Oh wow! Right, well, damn, that's, damn, that was really damn, heavy. Was that a Southeast Always? Asian joke? <laughs> yeah, the, he looked at both of us. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. He, he didn't look. I looked this at both. Way. I didn't look that way. Didn't he look over I didn't look that. I looked at the lice like, people. You guys are the lice people. Okay, damn. You because your heads are dirty. Wow. You fucking. You're, you have a brain. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you're fucking. I'll take the brain. Yeah, yeah. Damaged I'm, or in any way, but you just are dirty heads. Well, I've never had lice on my head. Have you had lice on your head, dude? Eddie. Yo, but I just want to say this is crazy when Koreans talk to other Asians this way because y'all under Chinese and Japanese. <laughs> no. Never before heard on this podcast. <laughs> Listen, Thank stop you. This. Koreans are both. I'm saying, Thank you. No, 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 I'm saying, man, that's absolutely not true. This Korean man's been impressing you guys. No. Uh-huh. Daddy's home. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> Oh, really, Dad? Yeah. Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Just daddy, kidding. did you bring a virus or two? <laughs> I daddy? did. All right. I did, actually. Yeah, we make, we make the, Samsung uh, like yeah, that, right? I'm unleashing the Chinese <laughs> street fish virus. 
<laughs> Yo, China, watch your fucking mouth. No, dude, I can't all right? believe anybody buys fish from like the Chinese fishmonger. I'm I know, like, I know, I know. <laughs> Should we introduce? For, I think we, have, we, we haven't done that. We right? Do the kind yeah. of start the show. Welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. I'm Bobby Leon. <laughs> we got Kalila. We've got uh, Georgie and and uh, Gilbert for sure. One hundred percent. You're here, man. I for, sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, dude. Lies people. The lies people. Say lies. Yeah, the lies people are here lies too. Are yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but we have a guy that I um, he wrote a book called um, Lice People Off the Bed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, he was a chef. Yeah. Uh, he uh, wrote a book called Fresh Off the Boat. They made it into a TV show that Randall Park and Constant Wu starred on. It st- stayed on forever. He narrated the first season. Um, he's also selling shows on his own, right? You're directing and stuff? Yeah, writing, directing. He's writing and directing on his own, you know? killing the game. And uh, I've always been a fan of it. I've never met him before. I've known him for a very long time. Um, as soon as I, I opened the door, though, we there's, you know, you, us dirty Asians, mm-hmm. when, we look, when the dirty Asians look at each other, we already know. Same we milk. know. What? We know. It's in like we kind of looked at. We didn't say anything. We just lo- <clears throat> our little eyes, right? Yeah, like, yeah. It's like you like black bean paste. I love. Oh, jajangmyeon. Oh. Jajangmyeon is my thing. See, yeah. yeah. Jaj- see, uh, bro, hey, but jajangmyeon is it Korean or Chinese? It's Chinese. It's Chinese. But I Koreans. Know. Why did you perfect it? it as <clears throat> they made it dirty. It's called it's jajangmyeon. Does that yeah. sound Korean? A little. No, no. no. Jajangmyeon. Like, like kimchi jjigae. Oh, oh, that's true, maybe. That's true. With lots of J's. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. It's but cool. I always knew, because you go to Korean Chinese restaurants. Mm-hmm. On Olympic. To get it, get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. King. Yeah. I think Koreans perfected it. Yeah, I, you know, I like the version in Beijing, oh. but because I'm on a Korean show, I'm going to agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Don. Yeah, you know. ZocDoc. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. I mean, we do this for food, right? Restaurants, just sure about do. anything else. Like, what a great idea that now we can now do this to find a physician mm-hmm. that um, meets all of our needs. But and a- also, you guys, no more Dr. Roulette or scouring the yep. internet for questionable reviews. With ZocDoc, you have a trusted guide to connect you to your favorite doctor you haven't met yet. Bobby and I love our doctor. We love it. Obsessed with him. Choose from thousands of patient-reviewed doctors and specialists. Browse doctor profiles. Upload and verify your insurance information. And get the care you need, guys. And lessen the burden on yourself. When you're not feeling your best, and just trying to hold it together, finding great care shouldn't take up all of your energy. And that's where ZocDoc comes in. Using their free app that millions of users rely on, you can find the right doctor that meets your needs and fits your schedule. Book an appointment with just a few taps in their app and start feeling better faster with ZocDoc. Go to ZocDoc.com belly and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash belly. ZocDoc.com slash belly. Okay. Okay, dog. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I adapt Do you really to my think audience. that you really think that the Chinese is above the Koreans? Oh, absolutely. No, there's no way. <laughs> absolutely. Wait, because you're, you guys you're looking at mass? Chinese. You're people. looking at mass. Even Japanese people is Chinese. I tell every Asian I meet, yo, you know you Chinese, man. <laughs> man you Chinese. You know, that's people get so upset now, but it's funny to just fuck with them. No, because you know, no, we have Mongolian DNA. Mm-hmm. Is Mongolia part of China? Or is Mongolia Mongolia? I mean, like everything is China. Oh, I see you're one of those guys. <laughs> the first bones were found in China. Is that yo, what you're saying? No, I only say this shit now because people get so upset. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, yo, this dinner is boring. You know what? You're all Chinese. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But even in the uh, Philippines, like we call them Chinese. Chai, it's so Chinese. A lot of Chinese. Really? Yeah. You know, um, I did look it up on Wikipedia once. They said that Japan was actually the emperor's smartest people he sent to find the fountain of youth. But he was like, don't come back if you can't find it. And they could not find it. So they just stayed in Japan. And so they're now just a country of smarter Chinese people. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Japanese people get upset when you tell them. You were so mad about the, <laughs> the You know, the co- Triggering you know, coronavirus. Everybody. You know what made me mad? Because you know how there was hostility toward Asians, right? 
I wanted to tell these people, I go, I'm not Chinese. But we all got the fucking heat. I got mad when people were starting to question if it was from China. I was like, no, 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 we did this. <laughs> We did right. You should claim that's a pretty good. Yo, I was about really to good virus, a, dude. a video with a bag on my head, being like, "We did this." Yeah. <laughs> like Koreans couldn't do it. No, you know what? You guys Chinese, are better, bro. You, they are Come better. They're better. They're better. Yeah, kung fu. <laughs> yeah, right. Karate. karate. Just, yeah, yeah. Dude, this is yeah. an okay. achievement to unleash a virus that took away everybody's parents. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man, yeah. clap it up. So anyway, <laughs> give him a round. Eddie Wong is here. Woo. <laughs> um. Have you, have we booked you before? How come we haven't had it earlier? We got, we talked about, we it. Talked about okay. it earlier. Yeah, but why Gilbert was it? has been asking him, but a yeah, what's your, we're so busy? I just never look in the general folder. <laughs> and I think Gilbert was in the general folder. I was in the folder. general folder. But of then, Twitter? No, because he was following you guys on Instagram, but not Tiger Belly on Instagram. Yeah, right. but I followed you guys. And then so she. I follow you too. Yeah, you had 15 minutes ago. I took a photo of it. This motherfucker. No way. <laughs> yo, 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 I wanted your your no, viewers no, to see no, this. No, you know, ago. It, I, I wanted your viewers you to see about? this. That's yeah, crazy. Bobby, Bobby decided to follow me 45 minutes ago. <laughs> wow. That's how you've you been a fan best, for how bro? long? Did Maybe you just like don't even follow. Just next time, <laughs> don't follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, notifi it notifies him. I didn't think you would notice. I don't have that many followers. We, yeah, you have a lot of followers. I check everyone. You do? I check. I constantly. Yeah, my bad. Check. No, I'm I kidding. finally got in there though, and he did read that message. Yeah. To come so you show. went, and I was like, I'm a big fan of Bobby's. You think he'll follow me back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when did you when did you reach out to him? Uh, a month ago, I think. Yeah, a month yeah. ago. Yeah. 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 So let me ask you something. What did you not like about your show? Uh, <laughs> wait, which, right off the bat. Which, <laughs> which one? <laughs> no, fresh, fresh off the, the boat. boat? You what left I, after season one, right? I, and then I read some things that you were like displeased or whatever. Honestly, in the most simple way, it's just like to not even get too deep because I've talked about it for like ten years. Yeah, I don't want to get the. Nah, it's it's more just like we're we're like funky, dirty Asians, right? And we were like pretty proud of being, being Asian growing up. I love it. Then that show just I was like, this is for all those Asian people that I remember from like Chinese school or from the neighborhood that like really just wanted to be white people. And I was like, you took my Ooh. story and you twinkied it. Yeah. And it's serving a different audience. Yeah. And like, I'm too much of a hot girl to like stay around <laughs> something that's not cute. Like you know that. what I mean? I was just like, nah, I'm on to the next one. Because I, I signed a, I, I sold I sold a Korean show to NBC and um it's all Korean cast about a family. Yeah. And I've been very mindful about what you just said. You know, like my entire approach to Fresh Out the Boat was pretty much because, like, my best friend Elena sent me like a joke meme, I think, way back in the day about Mariah when somebody asked her about J Lo. Uh -huh. And she was just like, I don't know her. And I was like, you know what? That's how I feel about this show. I don't uh, know. I don't know her. Ah, uh, right, 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 right. And I just kept it moving. Yeah. But you make probably money off of it. I make money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm about to audit those motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting. You really? Know? Yeah, because you got to wait. You got to wait for like the clock. To run. Oh, so like, when you were looking at your paychecks, you're like, this doesn't seem right? Yeah, it never, yeah, because they it charge never so seemed, much shit to the it show. It never seems white. These, right. the, yo, these producers or are white, assholes, or you know? Yeah, They're yeah. Assholes. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm always like scared to ask. Oh, don't be scared to ask. You have audit rights. Right. Have your lawyer ask. So they can audit CBS or was it ABC or CBS? I audit every show. You do? Yeah. yeah. Wow. For fun. Oh, you audit for fun. <laughs> for fun. I've never audited like, anything. Oh, China Scarface number one. Can fun. I still audit Mad TV or no? Audit them. Go. No, but I was on a series. I was a bro. That was money. That was I was like, acting money. That's yeah, but, but you, you barely made points? any money on that. Yeah, but you still can't. You signed the contract. They gave me the offer of this is the money, and yeah. I signed it. Did so you? Have I have back no end? life. No. Oh, but we didn't have that in the contract. Audit it. We can't edit it. So you have back end audit. Yeah, obviously. I see. Okay, that's cool, man. Yeah. And this other stuff that you're doing, what is it? Is it Asian based or mixed? You know, it's you know? mixed now because I feel like when I came in, I, 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 I sorry, felt, I no, that. it's just good. That's such a racist. It's a whole thing mechanism. It's good. I, I, I just, it. I have a tick. Yeah. When I hear somebody say something, I have to repeat it. That's we weird. Repeat it. No, the way you said it was asshole. weird. It's good. I love you. Man. <laughs> Thanks for coming here, man. Yeah, dude, I, thank you for having. We're me. the same. Thank you for letting We're me hang out outside with your Uncle Paulie sandwich. <laughs> We'll never do that again. That, <laughs> when oh, I wait, saw him this, out there, he was just shivering. Wait, the sandwich? He, you picked it up? No, it was I, just sitting in front of his feet. I was just chilling with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I opened the door, and there he is. I'm like, where the fuck is George? Yeah, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Wait, what? 
Oh, we're talking no about idea. other shit? The new show. Shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I got a new show at Showtime that we're in development, but it's looking pretty good. So yeah, I read I'm that. I'm excited about that. that this one. morning. I read that this morning. Yeah, and that's more like <laughs> about uh, like the, <laughs> the Florida Breaks music scene and how me and my little homies were like just, you know, doing pills at the advent of ecstasy in Orlando when this like music was created wow. before Joe Biden passed the Rave Act and we were just wiling out. And what is the Rave Act? The Rave Act was because ecstasy was like scaring Americans and parents. So Joe Biden passed this law, I think in like 1999, to like basically ban raves because raves were like this playground where you didn't need a liquor license or whatnot. Like we were in 18 and under clubs selling pills, just going bananas. Yeah. And- that's what the show is. Where am I going to get my glow sticks? Oh, man. Spencer's Gifts? Are they still <laughs> Oh, yeah. You can get a Spencer's, Spencer's still. Have Gifts, you ever been yeah. to a rave? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I loved raves because they gave you, you should get a map. Back in the day, in my time, in the early 90s, uh-huh. they would, you, go, you would get a rave map. And it's a map of, like, San Diego County. And then somebody would put a dot that this is, a, it's always in, like, a forest <laughs> Or some place they're not allowed to do it at, mm-hmm. and that was the excitement finding it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was cool. It was so cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. But then the then then but the dancing I don't like. I, I love the music because the music yo, is like I would dance, 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 dance. I don't like it. I was never a dancer till I did. That's actually the pilot episode. Is like I was never really a dancer, and then I did Exodus one time, and this girl like I couldn't blow up because we were all listening to like rap music, like we were playing Master P trying to blow up. Yeah. And I remember one girl was just like, "Yo, this isn't how you do it." And I was like, what? And she like put on electronic music, started dancing with glow sticks, and I was like, oh my God, I'm about to nut my pants. <laughs> Whoa, that turned you on. Yeah. So you got laid there. No, but no, then- no, <laughs> yes, no. At, at, at Rave, I know you're married. You yeah. love her. I get yeah, it. Yeah, she's right? Great. But back in I know, but back in the day, dog, right? Listen, man. During the raves, you twink quick? No. Never. Yo, cause that never happened. Know, honestly, on Molly, like you could really I feel like you really gotta get your dick sucked for a minute before you like can like do work. Like I gotta wait till like the next morning, really. <laughs> what do you mean? Just cause you, you your your shit is not you know oh, right. Up to the par. most vibrant. Right. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? It's more mind sex. You're doing mind sex, I feel, on Molly. Mm. I love like, mind People sex. may disagree or what. That's just how my shit works. That's how you know Vulcans I mean? have sex. Yeah, mind, mind sex. Mind sex. Yeah, 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 so it's dead they press, do a, mind sex. Yeah, they do a, a Vulcan mind meld. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. like that. Yeah, I was mind melding with Shorty. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's yeah, amazing. Was, was mind meld. So but in the morning you would get some, maybe. Yeah. But did you, uh, my point, this is my... Roundabout. Are you asking my, this body is my ra- count? No, no, no. no this <laughs> yeah, is my is. roundabout yeah. way of asking. You know what I mean? Did you get a lot growing up? Body count, yeah. <laughs> you know, I did not get a lot growing up. Me either. But there were like, well, I would say, because I met my, well, first girlfriend was like 14 or something like that. Ooh. And then. That's when you lost your virginity? Nah, but I had to wait. I waited till like 19. Because also, my mom my mom was on my ass. Like, my mom would throw people out the house and stuff like that. Uh, and I just, like, I was an abused kid. I wasn't very comfortable with my body. Like, truth be told. Me either. Like, I got the shit kicked out of me. Me too. By your dad? Yeah. Me and too. I, I really, that is a big part of this shit. Like, I, I'm, it's funny. I won't get, like, super deep unless somebody asks me to. But the show is, a lot of it is about this shit that I felt growing up and how ecstasy actually helped me. Right? Is because I felt like my body was trash. Like complete trash. Which is so interesting because they are doing like Molly assisted therapy now. Yeah. And like I without anyone saying it, I was just like, this shit really helped me because I thought my body was trash. This one night this girl was like dancing and all this and I was like, this is amazing. I was dancing with her. And then I just danced for five hours and it was the first time I ever felt like my body was not trash. Wow. And I was I got this ill confidence from this one night doing ecstasy. And then I met a girl when I was like 19, lost my virginity, you know? Mm-hmm. And then I was on Felony P and she held me down. Is that a TV show? No. Oh. But like What's a Felony P? Oh, Felony Probation. Probation. My bad. I was, no, 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 it's cool. It's cool. It's you're, cool. you're a criminal. It's cool. It's cool. No, it's not cool. <laughs> it's I don't not like cool. I don't I don't like criminals, man. <laughs> no, it's not cool. It's not cool, dude. All right. But I was with her for So what'd you do? I was with her for like seven years. What'd you do, man? That's a crime. What did I do? Yeah, why, why, I'm, I've never been a I got jumped by like 16 dudes, so I drove a car through the crowd. 
Oh, that, oh, that's not bad. I, don't hit, <laughs> I like that. I, I like that. No, one, no, no, I would do that. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you know that's saying? fine. I'm good with that. Like, they tried to hit my You're not Fela P in my eyes. No, they tried to hit my friend <laughs> yeah, with yeah, a tire yeah. iron, and yeah. I was like, how about I hit you with this Mitsubishi Monster? Well, would any, <laughs> yeah, what <laughs> any yeah. human being would do. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Natural. Yeah. Good for you, dude. But now, you know I'm, I'm, now I'm older, and when I see, like, a parked Mitsubishi Montero, I'm like, that's a big-ass car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't fuck with my car with a tire iron. So yeah, don't fuck with my boy. It's, it's Every action has a reaction, my friend. Exactly. All right. So anyway, so um, what was the worst way your dad hit you? <laughs> oh, man. Yo, this sounds really, really wild. But he had this rubber alligator that was just heavy, <laughs> just heavy yeah. enough that was heavy rubber so it would bend but snap. But the scales were dumb hard. So he would purposely hit us with this alligator. Wow. And he hit us so hard that my skin would be bruised in the shape of the alligator scales. Wow. That's uh, wild. And then. But where do you get that toy? I don't know. Where do you find they, a toy? They like probably that? make it just in Asia. They probably, sell it, they <laughs> oh, probably right. sell it at the school supply store in Asia. <laughs> so like, here, pick up your kids' textbooks for this fucking alligator. That's really funny. You know? So you used to use that. And then how old were you when that happened? <laughs> like, I mean. I don't like 12, 12 to sixteen. Dude, I, like, I, I, you know? dude, I exact. My yeah, dad but, used to yeah. golf club. I can feel myself getting uncomfortable though. We gotta get off my dad hitting me. I can feel my neck getting uncomfortable. All right, we'll, we can move yeah, on. Yeah, no, no, no. It makes on. you feel better. Cool. My mom no, would take I'm good, a... but you know, we'll move on. We'll move on. I start. Yo, now I do too. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you something. Now that I'm older, I can tell when I get anxiety. And yeah. I'm like, and I'm not one of those like I'm shut down to I'm. Not to, but I'll just be out loud like, yo, I got anxiety. The body keeps the score. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, my my mom, if it makes you feel any better, she was very creative with her torture tactics. She would take a banana peel after she would like eat it slowly and like just lock eyes with me. And then she would just whip my face. Oh. It, just banana peels. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's pretty creative, but yeah. also what? just like insulting. It's insulting. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the that shit would bother me too. My mom would have me and my brother slap each other, and I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> no, Whoa, really? Come on, yeah. Wow. Like, oh my god, on. that's the original. Just... What is that new new power play? slap? The power UFC's slap. UFC's power slap. Your mom is oh. the original Dana yeah. White of power slapping. She was power, having us power slap each other. But what did we learn from all that? That anxiety creeps homework? up on the no. <laughs> <Do your own. laughs> no, that we're not going to perpetuate that behavior to our children, mm. right? Yeah, I'm definitely not using the alligator. No, I don't have kids right now. But if now. you did... I wouldn't use the alligator. What would you use? Nothing, right? You know, I thought the one punishment that was really good... He All right, did. let me hear it. Maybe there's a yeah. good one. And I thought it was funny because it was like he also tied race into it in a like, self-deprecated way. <laughs> He'd have me purposely kneel on a bag of rice. Like, mm -hmm. you know... Oh, oh my God, and, and just like, I could have done the floor or the top. It's like, no, 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 no. Let's throw extra salt to the wound. Wait. Do some chink shit. Yeah. Get up on this Kokuho Rose short <laughs> grain. <laughs> like, oh my god! I talk about it all the time on the show. Ours was rock salt. Yeah, yeah. Rock so when salt. it would that start hurts. to seep, the salt yes, would seep that into hurts. your wound. Oh, yes. Oh my that god! Hurts. How about did you guys ever do the books? Yeah, the books. Yeah, the books is fun. Books is fun. Yo, my dad used to. If he, my brothers or I were annoying, and we have photos of this. Yeah. There's photos where it's my dad watching a sports event on TV yeah. and us in a horse stance next to the television. <laughs> 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 It'd be like a sporting event we yeah. all wanted to watch. And yeah. We'd just be in a horse stance with our backs turned to the television <laughs> yeah. as my dad watched it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, and you what explain this stuff to like Americans. They have no <laughs> they have no idea that it's going on. Yeah. Right? And we're living in these these isolated like a it's like we're in a different country almost. Yeah. I always get this what? like that didn't happen to you. That's success. I know. I hate I'm it. Like shut the fuck, fuck up. Fuck you. Yeah. I fuck saw. You. I, I was there. Shit like bitch. that to my kid. Like if they weren't listening and I was having real issues. Yeah. I mean, you like the Knicks? Yeah, yeah. I like the Knicks. I'd be sit down. Let's like order food. Get ready for the Knicks. Game starts immediately. A tip off. I'd be like, all right. Turn your back to the game and stand in a horse stance to the third. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> That I would not fuck around like anymore. Yeah. I'd be like, all right, cool. I learned my lesson. Oh, right, right. <laughs> right. Did, it, did you learn lessons then from it? Yeah, I did. I didn't. Oh, wow. I, I would go the opposite way. Oh, what'd you do? No, he, he would beat me for looking at him wrong. You know what I mean? If I looked at him like in a certain yeah. way, he would go, he would hit me and go, don't ever look at me like that. I was, and just, then I would do it again. Yeah, I was more a businessman about it, and and I was like, let me. What are your concerns? What matters more to you? Yeah. Let me handle those, and then I'm gonna go do the shit you don't care about. 
and that started to work out for me mm. until I started to do shit they didn't know to care about, and then they jump. The one time they jumped me, that was the craziest <laughs> beatdown. Oh wow! Yeah, the, yeah. The craziest beatdown. I came home drunk one day, and then they threw me head first into the garage and stomped <laughs> me out. And my boy watched. And he's like, "Tell my friends, yo, Eddie's parents fucking went mop, Annie up, <laughs> wow, stomped his ass out, wow." Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then my friend was so drunk, he took a shit in the front yard. And my mom was like, yo, you can't hang out with these kids no more, man. <laughs> yeah. Jared just took a dump in the front yard. But become a drug addict, because what happens then is there's no, they, there's nothing they can do. They can see their kid dwindling and dying. That's my route. I was like, okay, I'm dying. And you're going to yeah. slowly watch me die because yeah. of the shit that you put me through. So they yeah, don't that's sweat like, the small stuff anymore? What? So they don't sweat the they, other And then stuff? after I got sober... Oh, you can get OLF. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Drugs, yeah, yeah, scare, yeah, yeah. drugs will scare the parents. It scares it, yeah. Yeah, damn. You so. gay, it's fine. But what kind you know of, what like, mean? were you smoking crack? No, I was doing meth and oh, okay. yeah, 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 stuff no, like that. No, you were doing real shit. I was doing real shit, shit, and they would, like, they would freak them out because there's nothing, you know, there's nothing they could do. Yeah. I'm just dwindling. Yeah, meth is that tasty. Yeah. You know. Or you go bulimi. Mm. What? What's a bulimi? What's bulimic? a bulimi? Bulimic. Oh, I was like, bulimi? Oh, sorry, I, I said it wrong. What? Bulimics, like eating disorder? <clears throat> like Karen Carpenter. I thought about doing that, but I like food too much. Yeah, don't do that. What's Karen Carpenter? She's. You don't know, wait, wait, wait. Stop. I don't know. That's an interesting thing you just asked. What's, what's Karen Carpenter? No, listen to me. Yeah. Look, at, look, look at me. Don't look at her. Eddie, look at me, man. Karen Carpenter. Do you know who that is? No. Okay. Don't you remember you told Tell me you love me, baby? baby. Oh. Well, oh, no, you don't know oh. yet. Finish it then. I can't finish it. <laughs> I, don't, I can finish I'm not it. Even gonna start, I can't finish it. Yeah. Um, the Carpenters. It's like she a, was in a band. But I can't tell people apart. I was watching Hacks the other night. I'm like, damn, I'm happy for Kim Cattrall. And my girl was just like, what? <laughs> You're not you talking. Talking? I thought it was Kim Cattrall. Oh, wow, 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 bro, wow, wow. I can't so tell yeah. motherfuckers apart. Yeah. When the white women get to a certain age, I can't tell them apart. She's yeah. smart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. But um, so Karen Carpenter was in a folk group called the Carpenters. Karen Carpenter. mm -hmm. And she had. You could see her, I, w I mean, I was a kid, but um, you can see her dwindling away on TV. She was a bulimic, right? Yeah, she had anorexia. Before. Anorexia, I mean, an anorexia. And uh, toward the end, it was like, you'd watch her on TV, and she was a drummer, right? The drumsticks were fucking thicker than her arms. Oh, no. And it was like, oh, she's going to die. And she died. Fuck. Yeah, but yeah, she was. I think she might have died <clears throat> while she was already recovering. Like her heart just couldn't. Heart yeah, it was really sad. When I see that, it's so sad. What are you doing? I'm showing you that. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Eighty-three pounds. The middle, yeah, the middle is when she was like. Damn. Great teeth though. <laughs> you know what I mean? The teeth are wonderful. Pearls. Yeah. Wow. But all her song songs were very like melancholic. Yeah. Really, like sad. Really. Did she also they wrote. Probably ten um, banger, amazing banger songs. Yeah, really. The Carpenters. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're saying, dude. <laughs> the Carpenters. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Dudes. Oh, let me ask you. You don't yeah. know. The, let me. I'm gonna raise your hand if you've heard of this band. Then I'm just gonna throw you some names because I want to just see where you're yeah, at. Yeah, please. It's, I'm not shaming you. Yeah, no, uh, no. It's, it's cool. I'm proud of my limited music taste. <laughs> <laughs> or let's go, um, Leonard Skinnerd. Simple man. <laughs> A simple man. Simple man. Yeah, yeah. Is there a song called "Simple Man"? I don't yeah. know. It's yeah. simple kind of man. Oh, that song. Yeah. Okay, very good. Simple man. All right. Yeah. The Allman Brothers. I heard of them. Okay. Chicago. Heard of them. So hard to say. I'm sorry. Exactly. Mm. So you're doing but that's good. after they teamed up with Peter Cetera after Ooh. the cool years See, of Chicago. See, I don't know these guys. Yeah, I don't yeah. know these guys. But you've heard of it. I no, I know Chicago. I don't know Peter Cetera. The Beckman well, Brothers. Nah, what's that? I made it up. Okay, see, I was just throwing you a <laughs> Hey, I'm, 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 I'm honest. Yeah, yeah. I'm honest. I yeah. didn't know the Batman brothers. Batman. Voyagers. Don't know them. I made it up. Nice. So I'm just oh, showing their nice. journey. Yes. Okay, see, oh, I, know right? Right? I know them. Number yeah. one Filipino like karaoke group. Yeah. El Pineda. <laughs> yeah. Uh, two Hearts. I feel like Two Hearts is a song. Yeah. Not a band. I it know is. that You're song. Fucking good. You're, he's getting all of it. He knows a lot. You know, you know a lot. It's, it's enough. It's enough. Is it go Ask me some stuff now. Wait, does it go from like hip hop or something? Two Hearts, that one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is a song. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I said it. <laughs> Who sings it? Heart? One Heart? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Phil, how about, how about R&B bands for 100? You know the deal? 
Is that a book? Yeah, no, the band. The Art of the Deal? The group. The group. Never heard of the deal. That's where Babyface started, the deal. I didn't know that. I've never heard of Babyface. Ba- You've never yeah. heard of Babyface? No. Oh, my God. Mm. Is he related to Old Man Face? <laughs> so, <laughs> so ridiculous. So <laughs> no, really. Is there an Old Man Face? They should have all the faces. Well, he just discovered <laughs> Alicia Keys three years ago. Yeah, I didn't know Alicia Keys until three I'm years so ago. I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> And I'm he used. Kidding, kidding. I remember when he heard. He was like, "Who?" He's like, "Babe." <laughs> One time he was like, "Babe, you got to listen to this artist. She's new. Her name is Mary J. Bleeg." Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Mary J. That's Mary a good J. one. I like yeah, Mary yeah, J. Bleeg. Mary J. Bleeg. So throw me some more. I've never heard of the deal. Go ahead. Club Nouveau. Let's move on. Yeah, <laughs> that's an actual club. That's not a real band. No, you got. You know this group though. They everybody sampled this group. They're amazing. We'll sing it. Yeah, you know. Uh, <laughs> on the spot. I can't fucking sing it. Yeah, it's a try, try. Nah, it's fun. He, it's your fear. All right, you know what? Yeah, get the Let's lyrics. Bring it up. Let's bring it up. No, you, it up. but you have to sing it. Bring the lyrics up. No, you come have to on. Sing. You need the instrumental with it. All right, I'm but you'll you'll sing it with the instrument, instrumental. Yeah, all right, of good. course, Sam, bro. That's the group. Of course. Let me oh, see. they're all black. That's great. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. That's great. Right. That's great. Okay. All right, Biden. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Club New Vote rumors. All right. Yeah. Your tone is just st- every note is with your voice <laughs> one note, right? Pretty much. How would you sing it? I know those. I've never heard that song before. Give him those Give lyrics. Give him the 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 lyrics. Give yeah. I got nervous. I got nervous. I got nervous. I got nervous. I love it. We should karaoke sometime. We should. Yeah. Yeah. I have a machine in my house that is. We'll go to a place. Oh, oh really? Have I don't want to go to your house. house. Why? There's a great one in Koreatown called Faro. It's oh, like I'm a down. high end. Like I'm they'll down. greet you at the door. Let's it's go. super high end. It's so great. You have a beautiful wife. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did I say that in a creepy way? It's no. an interesting oh, way to cool. divert. Like karaoke, it. the boom. I like it. You know. I like it. That's why you don't want to come to my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you you know I do do that, huh? Yeah. It's a little Trumpish too. What? Like, yeah, beautiful wife. No, it's cool. Oh, the, it's oh, like, do you think that was Trumpet? I think it's more autistic wife. than beautiful. Trumpish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think it was autistic? You're just on the spectrum. We're all on the spe- like everybody. Yeah. Like yeah, we're. I just much- realized I just did that. I'm so sorry. Don't. Hey, I'll, I'll tell you why I did sorry. it though. I don't like karaoke. Oh, so that was oh, your way okay. of kind of like yeah. It's like there's about like it. three or four topics where I'm like I can't. I gotta go this way. Karaoke yeah, it's cool. That's like me with my dad. I'm like yo, I can't talk about my dad exactly anymore. Right, you got Let's uncomfortable. Talk about Eddie's girl, it's right? Good. And then we went yeah. to the fucking that band. She's fire. It's cool. I love her. Right, it's right. Amazing. You know, the best ever. How did you meet your girl wife? I met her on a dating app. On Which Raya. one? She curved me for two years. <laughs> wow. This woman curved me for two What's years. What's curved mean? She just said next one. You know, she matched me. I told a joke. She said, ha ha. I said, what's, what's really good? Let's hang out sometime. Curved. No response. Two years. They do that. Mm-hmm. I'm, every Raya, no one responds to me. Curved? Yeah. Is that what it is? Oh, I've been curved hella. Then she came back. I'm but then she curved. came back <laughs> two years curved. later and was like, I'm a, what I'm going to do is pretend like, you know, I didn't just ignore this for two years. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to play hard to get. So I waited three hours. Oh, wow. Was it hard? It was. It was the first hour was cool. Second hour got harder. And the third hour, I was just jerking off to her Instagram. <laughs> right. At this point, you should respond. So, so when, you took, when, you, when you took her out, were you nervous? Was I nervous? Yeah. No, because she curved me twice. I set two dates and she didn't make either of them and had really, really good excuses both times. So the third time, I was just like, listen, I'm going to go boxing if you want to come. And she's like, actually, I would love to do that. So then we went boxing. And then... I'm like, what do you mean, boxing match? Like, we went to the gym and boxed. It was cool. Oh, yeah, he boxes. Like, you box, yeah. box. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, I'm he trying does. to... Don't, play, yes. don't be foolish. Yeah. Yes. I'm he trying does. to stop Asian hate. <laughs> oh, is that, is that, oh, it's part of the movement. movement. That's, That's great. Movement. That's great. Part of the movement. So she yeah. went to... Do you, you, so you, she put on gloves and you boxed each other? Yeah. Well, we we train, but she does spar me. Like, we do this thing where she gets to hit me and I just eat it. It's yeah. called a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're very funny. No, I'm not funny. Yeah, you're doing it's great. It's because your mic's taking out the notes, so it <laughs> no, it's my not, timing. It's, it, it, I'm not this funny without your mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's how... Because let me ask, why do you guys do that? Do what? Like, if... You like because on Raya, what happens is you'll you'll see a purple thing. Can I tell you at least for me? I like you, right? So then I'll like them back, right? I go, Ayo, or whatever, with exclamation, <laughs> exclamation, exclamation, right? 
and nothing ever. This is ever. a terrible thing I'm about to say, but Go ahead. truly, the only reason, um, the only purpose of Raya for me is just an ego boost. Yeah. Like there's no, I have no interest in having a real conversation. Every, it's just I, I hate it. I'm just like, oh, oh my god, how fun! And then next, like I'm, I'm out. But then just don't swipe. Then don't say um, you like somebody. I mean, I like their pictures. I like their pictures of them. Oh, that's a cute dog. But it's sometimes what that does to guys is like, oh, he, uh, Kalila, oh my god. I mean, I'm hoping you need action. Everybody needs a little action, you know, like. What do you mean action? Just, you know, you need somebody to be, like, matching you, you know? Like, matching right. you just fly. Like, That's what Tinder's Match them and leave them right there. I, yeah, I just, I, I have no desire to go okay, on any okay. Raya dates. But I, I don't take it personally anymore. I mean, I, I just know that that's the game. Do you do any online, like, I mean, is it just Raya or, like, all online dating is, like, I mean. I was banned from two of them, but, yeah, I'm, oh, I'm still on Tinder and uh, Raya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oof. But you know what? I'm not even hanging out with people on those anymore. On Tinder? On any of them. <clears throat> oh, because you got banned. No, but, oh, I know. On the two, Hinge and Bumble, I got banned. What's banned? Yeah. Oh, you got banned. Yeah, I got yeah, banned yeah, from yeah, Hinge yeah. and Bumble, but um, the last couple of dates are pe people that I've just met on the street. Okay. Not homeless Yo, people. Y'all have so much self-control to do this. I could not do this. With an ex? The exes, the exes, and then talking about your dating to each other. That's I don't know if I could do that. What do you mean? Why can't you? Like if it ever knock on wood, if it ever happen, not, it would not happen with me and my girl because yeah. forever, yeah. you know. But like, that's but really I, hard. I, 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 yeah, I mean, go ahead. I have something to say, but go ahead. I I think the reason it's a little easier for us because it's like we let the record play to the very end. Like there is a feeling of closure and completion. I think it would have been hard if there were still if it was not like a mutual like. We, we knew it was over. Like, we, yeah. we're in therapy for two years. Mm. And that our, I guess in a sense, our therapist was just kind of preparing us for the end. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Also, that is true, though. Couples therapy is either they fix your relationship or you're paying them to get you out of it civilly. I also yeah. got in a fight with Fahim Anwar. I'm going to say their names. I don't care. <laughs> Fahim Anwar and fucking Harlan Williams. Are they the comedians that tried to pull up on her? No. I remember that from the episode. No, 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 no. <laughs> Can I tell oh, you, the podcast has gotten better, though, in a way, because it's like every couple episodes or something, you guys get to like how you guys are doing, and that's like the show now. <laughs> I just have to tell you, right. this is better. Like, you guys did so this. So I got in a fight with yeah. Harlan like Williams, Fihame Anwar, and they were like, because I was telling them that Kalila still lives there for a while. Yeah. Right? And I go, yeah, what's the big deal? And they're like, oh, if that was me, I would never talk to her again. I would cut ties and this and that. I go, yep, that's how you do relationships. Yeah, they've also never been in a decade-long relationship with, no, or like started a business together with somebody, had seven animals. Just, it together. doesn't matter because somebody. look at me and Sarah um, Highland, right? You guys, he's, you're friends with I'm very good friends with the other actors. It's like, I... Oh, I, damn, Bobby got a pattern. What's, <laughs> I'm just oh, kidding, you son I'm of a kidding, bitch, kidding, dude. I'm kidding. How long were you with the other girl? A couple years. Okay, my point is this, years, though. Cool, cool, Let me finish my fucking yeah, point. Yeah. My point, my point <laughs> is, is that... You know, it's my a relationship is a friendship as well. Mm -hmm. You get to know somebody's life and his family and their soul and things, and, right? And you fall in love with not just the sexuality, right? Well, with all wanna, of it. Did you want to have kids and stuff? You want to have kids? Yeah, you I did. did. I don't but know. then somewhere, somewhere the story got twisted, and it's like yeah, I'm the one who didn't want kids, but don't, I want kids. Please don't, twi don't, don't twist. I'm not gonna. Don't twist and shout. No, but I want. I, at the end of our relationship, believe I'm women, the one who Bobby, wanted believe, it. I believe. I believe her. I believe, I believe her, her, but I don't. You know, as well. So, she know. wanted kids. You didn't want kids. We, it, 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 tit for tat. Yeah. Let's just say. Tit for honestly, tat. I feel like ten years. That it, you're right. You let the. You're the biggest play. headed Chinese person I've ever seen. <laughs> like I've never seen. You have a that Korean, was another. Your wife is you have hot. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a <laughs> Korean. I know. I have to say it. I have. I've been holding that in, dude. No. Right. You just have a very big head for a Chinese head. Metaphorically or like. Actually, physically, literally a big literally head. a big head. Yeah, it's a seven and five ace. Yo, you know, Same. yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven I don't and five think that that's big, big. There's bigger. Out there. uh, no, for Chinese, I, I think for Chinese, I think it's pretty big. Because Koreans usually have we have the big heads, heads is what I'm saying. Yeah. My bad. It was just no, a compliment. Not, my, my bad. It was I like a slam, it. Twenty three and me said I got like some blood from northern China, Korea. My mom's from their family. There from we go, dude. Sandor, What's up, so, dude? Yeah. So right, You're, straight I up. Got that like big bodega head. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What about my, my head? My head shape head, just it's says it's discount head. liquor. I, mean, <laughs> I think right now this guy has. Yo, wow. Liquor. This guy from. Wow, wow, China. wow. He's China. This guy's a Chinese villager with. The yeah, but head. how much of his neck are you counting? Yeah. Yeah, but that's also. A, uh, he has a tumor, right? Like Ooh. it's some type of like lymph issue. Yeah, there's a tumor. It's like lymphedema, but on his neck. Him. I can't even laugh at him. Oh, my God. Great body, though. Just stop okay. working out the neck. Oh. I think that's the problem. You know what I mean? Yo, maybe or just he, put he, a waist he, trainer on neck, his neck. Maybe there's a, there's a neck fucking yeah. 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 You know what I mean? He's doing yeah, but yeah. Back to what you were saying. I think what I, I, it would be really, really hard if there was a lot of romantic feelings still there. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. But I, it's, not, it, it's still not easy, but I don't know. Like, I think I want to prioritize. Good at it. Yeah? I'd be listening just to be like, damn, they're doing breakups so well. Yeah, uh, yeah, man, we are. I, I also, um, we also have Tiger Belly. We gotta do. Yeah, you were. It's about, a, it's yeah, our, it's like our family. About your money, I'd be. No, it's not about way. money. No, no. <laughs> oh, you got it wrong, pal. Really? Yeah, Chicho. Oh. Chicho. Oh, damn. all right. Listen to me, amigo. Yeah. All right. You're not about you, your money. I some parts of me are. I feel like it would but, be but Tiger, insulting if somebody was like, "Eddie's you, not about his paper." I'd be. Good. <laughs> but what? Eddie, hey, I'm about my paper. Big Chong. Yeah. Listen to me. Big okay? Chong. <laughs> <laughs> listen to me, man. Okay. Tiger Belly is yeah. our baby. Yeah. Oh. So we did have kids. Oh, wow. And we're taking care of this baby. Did you see the face she just made? <laughs> did I bite my lip she really hard? Like, oh, 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 oh. That's no, the baby? Are... Mm. I wanted a real baby exit <laughs> my vagina. This is what I you meant. A fucking yeah, metaphor podcast. Metaphor That's not what you wanted? Yeah, yeah. It, it is. It is our baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is our thing we created, right? And it's grown to this. If we, When we do live show, people come out. I feel like... Our children come out, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And it's a gigantic extended family, and this feels like a baby to me. It is cute. Like I, I'm gonna do a podcast with my girl because I like I like this. Yeah, it's cool, Ooh, right? You guys cool. are like the better looking version nah, of Tiger Belly. Nah, yeah, 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 no. yeah. Oh my god, they're the hot us. No, we're not. We're well, just the together. You. No, they. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they also by, visually they look similar to us. I think. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I'm do. Is she taller than do. you too? Yeah, guys? look at her. She's, yeah, she's taller, taller, right? She's taller. Look at how beautiful oh she is. Look, she's cool. And he, it does, there's something that doesn't seem right, but it is right. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't it, seem, it but seems it is. Like her man should be a <laughs> foot taller. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's giving my man should be a foot taller. <laughs> <laughs> but can I just say though? <laughs> <laughs> this photo is, is this, I love this photo. Yeah. This is, you know what this is called, my this, friend? This is called fucking winning. <laughs> this, is win, this is winning. You're winning, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Know you. I mean? yeah. Of course she's going out with you. You're yeah. dynamic, special, you're creative. You're, man, you're fucking not lazy. You got a big head, et cetera, et cetera, dude. Mm -hmm. But you got everything, dude. Yeah. You're stylistic. Thank you. Right. Thank you. You can cook. Can't. Right. You got it all, dude. <laughs> Congratulations, brother. I also just showed up on the first date and was like, look, if this works out, no prenup. No, no oh, I'm kidding. No, I did it. I did <laughs> Well, you really are about it. your bag then. <laughs> no, I did Let it. me ask everyone in the room. I did it. When you go on a date with somebody, do you know if you're friend zoned right away? Yeah. How, what are the you can get out of that, though. How, what is the tall tale signals? Uh, a friend zone. Are you also being advancing with like, Trying to touch her hand or anything, or no? I'm doing stuff like this is one girl where I'm just going, <laughs> and I laugh and I grab her arm. What did I she think do? You're friend zoning yourself. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> just going, <laughs> I'm friend zoning myself. Yeah. Right, say something. This is what I'm doing. It can be anything. Make a, We're on a date. Just say okay. a comment. Yeah, just say, yeah. And the dwarf, the dwarf okay. fell in the well. And oh my God, the dwarf fell in the well. <laughs> yeah, dude. Friend zone. You, <laughs> right? That reaction. Yeah. Friend zone? Or this, if she does this, what? touch me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. That I can read. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that I can read. That's, That's good. I'm leaving the fucking restaurant at that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Eddie, do you got signs in the past? Have you seen when you're being friend zone? Oh, he's never been friend zone. I'm going to plead the fifth. I have to plead the fifth. Why? Because I can't give an honest answer, so you plead the fifth. Oh, so you have been. No. You've been friend zone. I just plead the fifth. Just I what? I plead, to, but no friend zone thing. I will say this is like I met her, yeah. and she did a very interesting thing that is like friend zone 
adjacent conversation. Which is what? She was <laughs> like, yeah, I, I took her to a Zanku chicken on our first date. Nice man. And we walked out. She's, she was like, before we got to the car, she probably felt like I was going to make a move. So she goes, I would like to delay pleasure. And I was like, I would like to get home and watch Dipset Versus at 7. <laughs> So cool. Wow. Okay. Okay. And then it just that kicked off our relationship because it was just so tit for tat. We're yeah. both so petty. It's also honest. Yeah. It's funny. It's honest. Yeah. I it's like on, that. It's honest but petty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I was taking you home anyway. Oh, I gotta, wow. I gotta watch Cam versus Jada kiss. So you guys probably like have great <laughs> relate uh, talk talks in bed, going to bed, and you guys probably get along a lot. Okay. Yeah, it's great. That's it's great. great. Nice. Currently, we sleep in separate bedrooms, but it's it only because I fart. Huh? Italian style? Yeah, but it's like I took offense to it at first, but now it's kind of cool. Like Wait, two she, nights she a brought week. it up. No, she just slept in the other bedroom a couple nights when we had fights. And then we were both over time like, oh, it's, it's kind of cool. I'm a, it's kind of cool, like twice a week. I'm a proponent of it. Separate, but twice a, twice a week. You know what Only I mean? Only twice like, a week. Yeah, because then you get hornier the other five days. You're like, Ooh. Right. You know? Because I think it's so easy to get desensitized to each other's touch. Yeah. And each other's company. Mm. That, like, yeah. it's not, it's, you're not spending time together actively. You're just in each other's space. And um, it can be really overwhelming. You take it for granted, too. Yeah. Like, on the day she's gone, I'm like, oh, shit, man. I hope. Hope she comes back today. Oh, you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hope she comes back. Hey, you back? She do you miss know? her when she leaves. Yeah, but then I'm even crazier. If I get mad, I go to my house in OC. <laughs> oh, I'm in OC. Oh wow! I'm too proud to even go to the other bedroom. I'm like I'm gonna go to another guys, house. Listen. Yeah, two houses. And I'm gonna gamble all our money on fucking the Knicks tonight. Yeah, <laughs> that's my way of coping. I'm gamble our money in another house. <laughs> Is your is your family still with us? Is that good? Is that good? It's unhealthy. It's, it's good. It's good. I feel like it's a good coping mechanism. Thank <laughs> you, kid. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Wait. So you guys are starting a podcast. We are. What's it we're, called? We're doing it. We don't know yet. Probably the Eddie Wong show with his girl. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't pass or call the it two bedrooms. Test. <laughs> two bed. Yo, separate bedrooms. That separate ah, bedrooms. that's, that's a good, good name. Will you guys have guests? Separate bedrooms is a good name. I like that. Yeah, we're gonna have guests. We want guests. You guys should come on. You know, we'd love to. Great. Come. Are we recording Great. from separate? <laughs> yo, that's a good setup. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Oh, that be, you do couples. That would be hilarious. Two and they, you beds. have two different beds, and you guys have mics and setup. That's a cool fucking idea. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, dope. I like, this. I like this. And what do you talk about? Relationships. Anything, 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 yeah. you know, like we, we don't really have too much of a form because we went out with this show and then a lot of people wanted to format it and we were more just like, we kind of just want to kick it. Mm -hmm. Like, uh. cause you, like we like yours. We like Tim Dillon. We like, you know, Joe Rogue. We like, you know, it's the same come town. I like come town. Oh, yeah. Come town's great. Come town's yeah. the best. Yeah. yeah, you know? yeah. I so. think it also just makes it for like mm. more longevity. Like, yeah. Especially if both of you are just comfortable and enjoy doing it, then because sometimes when it's guest driven, yeah, a little bit, it's like, okay, what happens when you don't get a guest like or you, topic like specific? Because we that. can't yeah. fake being interested. We're both like, dude, I'm the same way. Yeah, like when I do Seguros, they do like the videos. random news things going. on. I don't do those anymore. Yeah. What? Well, let's talk about this accident that I like. I don't like that. No, like yeah, if yeah. there is one that's interesting, I will talk about it. But like, I'm not. I can't be like, yo, news every time. You know? Right, right. I mean, I don't even care. But watch, someone may offer me a lot of money to do some shit like that, and I'll just put my brain on autopilot yeah. and do it. Because <laughs> I'm at that age where I'm like, I'm trying to have a family, and I need to save money because I spent all my money on like unnecessary clothing. So me, me too. <laughs> yeah. I, shoes, bro. Toys. I have like purple trench coats. I'm like, dude, when the dude, fuck? Dude, I have a storage. I have a storage oh, yeah. of toys. Yeah, yeah. I believe it. You have a room of toys too. I, I know, but this is like, <laughs> don't make fun of me. Don't shame <laughs> no, me. I'm not, don't shame I'm not, me right I'm now, not, man. I'm not, I'm not, you know what I'm not what shaming you. But like, I've spent so many, so much dumb shit. I bought so many dumb shit. Like, have I? Yeah, when I first met him, um, it wasn't an apartment. It was just a shoe storage, like a just mound of shoes in his living room. And um, a, be a bedroom I could kind of see to the right of it. But those ones he's wearing? Mm -hmm. Please, Thank Eddie. You. Eddie, no, I'm being real. Those are my life shoes. I like the way that... Are those laces? No, they're like they're like bands. So you yeah. don't have to tie your shoes. Cause, so wow, dope, dude. You know. Can you tell me how to get those? Yeah, I will. I Philip Lim sent them to me, but mm -hmm. I'm going to ask them. I'm sure he got a few. These are like... 
they're great. They're like Kim Jong Un platform. Yeah, I shoes, love. Yeah, but then you look like a Filipino nurse, also. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like, Those are <laughs> so support, dope. Yeah, support. But Philip Lim is part of like the Slasians. Like, he, oh, he gotta, oh, Slasians. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought what's a Slasian? I thought you know, like oh yeah, yeah important yeah, yeah, yeah. like Asians, a fancy Asian. Oh, yeah. Slay though. They just call it Slay. Oh, they do Slasians. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I know the Slasian. I thought. I I heard it a different way, like that it was like that was the guy related. From, the guy that from Monterey Park was a slave. <laughs> oh, R.I.P. 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 Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Was, he, was he not a slave? <laughs> He was, yeah, I played well, the well, Let me ask you. Let me ask you about a, that. Let me ask you about. What? What? what, 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 what about why are you asking me? I didn't yeah, see anybody. anybody. I, I would, Yo, you know, ask, you don't know the guy? No, I, <laughs> I get it's it. Not no, too, it's not funny. Yo, I get it. And I and I and, 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 and let me say something. I get what Bobby's joking about. I'm not joking about. I'm not joking about. Between a tech shooter, I remember everyone being like, "What do you think?" And I was like, "What do you mean? What I think? He like, you know, like he's a shooter, dog. Like it has nothing to do with his race. He's a shooter." Yeah, we all have them. By yeah, everybody. Way. Every race has one. There's I Indian remember it one. used to be like people would be like, "It's a crazy white guy." I would be the one, but it's a crazy white kid. Yeah. you know what I mean. Probably got a black trench coat. And now it's like, nah, bro. Everybody's mad in this country. Everybody's big fucking mad, and it's too easy to shoot people. It's. It, I don't want to. I don't want to get into like laws and what we should do as a society. What I want to talk to you about is why a seventy-two-year-old man. You know what? Why is it laughing? No, that he would finish. have this an Asian because both guys there's two Asian guys right one of them died the other one they arrested right they seem like people I know I grew up with right and it's like what drives somebody at that age to do that and also killing other Asians there's a lot to it okay raise your hand go ahead well there's a lot well you raise your hand like you, very, the, you know the very answers very complex because this man is was in, was in his 70s he came here from Vietnam mm -hmm. you know when you're when you're we're lucky. We're we can I'm a 1.5. You were born and raised here. There is an assimilation. That man came into this country under very dire circumstances and that in itself is probably like a trauma that stayed locked in his body and for whatever reason manifested into 72-year-old, you know, angry him for there's a lot of things. It's so complex. I, I honestly feel like it's not that hard for people to get that mad. Like there's a lot yeah. to be mad about. Like there's a lot of people when we get outside of our like New York or LA bubble, like life fucking sucks. Mm -hmm. Life is hard. And the issue to me is really is this is not me being it is political, but it's not it's not because I subscribe to a party, which I don't. It's just like I do think that it's too easy to get guns. And I think that it happens here simply because of that. I think if guns were this available and this cheap in comparison to your like median income in your country. Mm. This would be happening in every country. Yeah. Every, like, bro, you know how many people I knew when I was in Taiwan for a year that were just like, I'm going to run up on him and crack his head with this beer bottle. I'm like, if you had $10 for an AR-15, you would have shot him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to throw my our country under the bus. Any country I've been to, and I've been in a lot of countries, like these, these dudes in Sicily tried to fucking body us on a shoot. On Wong's world, they would have right. shot us. You know, like, yeah. if, if guns are more available, it's the availability of guns, like, no one's going to convince me different that makes this so prevalent here. It's 100% the truth. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. And not only specifically assault rifles. Yeah. But I'll tell you a funny, this is, this I thought was funny. And this is where uh, let's, let's try to get to comedy now. We'll get to yeah, comedy. Let's try our best. Yeah, now let's we're, get we, back okay, to let's feel what we're feeling now, right? Yeah. But check this out. Go ahead, yeah. Eddie. No, but what I was going <laughs> to say is that, like, uh, you, you know, as soon as it happened and people were like, it's racial, it's racial. I had a bunch of friends that really are great people and meant well. Like, I'm so sorry what's happening in the community. This is fucked up that they did this to you guys. And I was like, I didn't have the heart to say it because there wasn't enough evidence yet. But just off the location, I was like, this is an Asian dude. Yeah, It's another Asian dude did this like it's at a ballroom dance class that's where our parents and grandparents go like <laughs> yeah. a, a, a mad white dude doesn't know we there yeah nobody else knows yeah. we're there exactly. besides our parents I we was got like, the comedy out of the way that's great yeah it's like it's in the family <laughs> it's like it might be my cousin yeah, yeah you know yeah. <laughs> like yeah, yeah yeah you know how you're right How's once I heard Monterey Park, I go, yeah there's yeah there's, everybody there's, call and make sure your cousins are home you yeah, know what I mean great Even restaurant so. great restaurant yeah Great yeah. restaurants. I play basketball out there. It's sad, but yeah, like, it's so sad. Honestly, it's the availability of guns, man. Yeah, and also there's a lot of our, but also mental health. And there's a lot of people in our country that are disenfranchised, right? Yeah. 
and there, there's no way out. Yeah. Right. Um, I think it's good for people with money in this country, but people that are poor, just, look at look at LA. Look at the homeless problem. Yeah. Right? But there's I'll a say lot too. I I don't have a pro like my thing is I sh I'll go to the sh gun range and I'll shoot guns because yeah. I'm one of those people where it's like if they're gonna be here, I'm gonna know how to use this thing. You know. Ah. Uh, right. Right. But like it's like. Can't it's you like learn from a squirt gun, though? Did, did I learn from a squirt gun? No, I mean, can't you learn? Why do you have to go to a gun range? I know how it works. No, it's a little... Yeah, on, no, yeah no, the no. safety. Have you ever shot a gun? Listen, <laughs> listen to me, guys. If you haven't shot a gun, our it's next pretty different. Our next vlog. You're about to put one in the ceiling. Like, that shit kicks. It's dangerous. I understand. I, yeah. I see the movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I see the way command... You've seen Alec Baldwin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But that's not his fault. Damn, did I go too far? No, 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 I mean, no, it's that so was true. yeah, dark. You did a dark twist. Wait, he got a <laughs> in, yeah. involuntary. Let's talk about Buca de Pepo now. You, what? <laughs> I love Buca de Pepo. I love Buca de Pepo. They do Pepo. Yeah, such man. great ser family serving Amazing. sizes. I love it. Mm. But <laughs> yeah, damn. No, no, but so you're right. Okay, it is the guns, right? But that's such a hot topic, and we're never gonna we're never gonna change the minds of half this country. Yeah, and I'm like, how are you gonna have music videos without guns? So it's like a conundrum. I understand. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. People are dying, but right. then also like we need these music videos. Yeah, we do need them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. bro, how are you gonna make Chief Chief Sosa without? You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we got into this with Slasian. Let's go back to Slasian. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I might be the funniest thing <laughs> I ever heard. Those yeah, he yeah. called yeah. homie a Slasian. So, well, who are the Slasians yeah. now? They're just the, you the got Philip the Virginia Lynn. Tech shooter. Yeah. <laughs> you got, you got yeah. the Bingham Pol Pot. Shooter. Pol Pot yeah, yeah, was uh, yeah, he's Pol old Pol school. Pot. Yeah, 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 Pol Pot. Who else? Slasian. Who's who's Ma 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 a Slasian? Ma Mao's Ma Ma a Slasian. Kim Jong Il, yeah, yeah. Kim Jong Un. Yo, the great Genghis Khan, the greatest, oh, yeah, greatest yeah. Slasian of yeah. all time, dude. Yeah. <laughs> dude, he was a slayer, oh, dude. Oh, um, um, Yo, I just realized you kind of look like Simu Lu in this painting. Do you know Simu? Hot. I would laugh if, if I knew who Simu Lu was. You met him at my Thanksgiving. Oh, I love him. <laughs> he's great. Dude, he's only like he the got biggest the five ring. I love other like, slaves. I love him. I love him. Mr. Asia. So I, I, how do you I don't know him? How do I become? <laughs> You're lying right now. You no, don't I love know him. who he's the great. fuck he is. What's He'll... he on? What's he on? Name one movie. He has Crazy a really Rotation. good commercial with Giannis. <laughs> He got that. Giannis one. He yeah. had that commercial with yeah, Giannis. Giannis. Who's Giannis? Giannis. Who's I think he got a T-Mobile commercial with Giannis. And the car with Giannis, right? Something like that. Listen, who, how do I get into Slasians? Sl you got to show. <laughs> Clip up. <laughs> 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 oh, my. oh, that's the gun shooting range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two ways you can be a Slasian. No, I want to create my own Asian, you know, show business mafia. Oh, like a oh. Triad. you want Gold House? No, let's you know, do op, let's do opium den. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know how back in, back in the day house. I used to go to um, the IHOP in West Hollywood. Yeah, mm. this is twenty years ago, and I used to see Brian Singer and Kevin Spacey, all the you know the gay mafia. They would go to the clubs and stuff, and they would go to IHOP. I used to see them all the time, and there'd be a table of thirty of them, and you could tell that like, we would always whisper, "Don't fuck with them." You know what I mean? That's the that's the gay mafia. I want a Korean mafia in a show business. Just Korean? No, Asian. I think when we roll up and we go, oh shit, that's the Are group. Filipinos invited? I don't feel yeah, like we would invite sure, them. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I don't call them Filipinos. I call them lice people. <laughs> oh, sorry. The, the lice people are invited. Thank okay. you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Gilbert N. Yeah, Man. different table though at the fucking thing. Because we, we want to get that. We don't want scratchy heads. But my point is <laughs> that itchy heads. Yo, we but have how no do we... dance crew without Filipinos. You know no, we're I mean? there. No, you guys are How are we going to do musicals without them? Like, yeah, but our Lynn Well Miranda is definitely coming from the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> but how do we? But how do we create a mafia? Is what I'm asking. Uh, do we just hang out with each other and then people just know, or what? I feel like Asians try to do that. Yeah. But the out of us, to be honest, the only ones I feel are gonna hang out is like me, you, Cho, and Chang. David you Chang. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know he's pretty fucked up too. Yeah, he's fucked he, up. Yeah. He masks it with. You can but I think success. Aquafina could be there. <laughs> Nora's fucked up. Yeah. I saw Ronnie Chang Ronnie five Chang's days cool. ago. I fucked what? Ronnie. He's in town. Oh, nice. We got to get him on the spot. We yeah, got to get him on the show. He's been he's in town for six weeks. But I hung out with Ronnie, and Ronnie was going on an L.A. rant. But honestly, I can't How do, like, race-specific hangs. Like, <laughs> if there's a group of five and there's more than two Asians, I'm like, this is too much, man. I need, <laughs> I need to mix it up. No, 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 I no. I need to mix you it up. You got it all wrong. I need to mix it up. Lean up. Stand up, man. 
Oh, I can't. My oh, oh no, that's fine. Stay there then. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> you fucking. You know, on Joe Rogan's show, he gives them weed and whiskey. Like, yeah, I'm in AA. Guys? I can't do that. Oh, my bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, you want me to relapse? I got a year last week. No, I'll no, relapse no, with you, though, Eddie. No, no, no. You piece of shit. I, yo, I will send you an Evite, though, because when I'm 60, you are going to be 70. Yeah. And I'm throwing a party with my best friends, and we're all going to smoke crack. Because I feel like at that point I can. Because I've never met I've never met anyone that was like crack sucked. <laughs> they were like that shit was fire. That's true. Never anybody like crack? my friends that. No, that's why I never because I knew it was gonna be the thing. So it's not whack. Yeah, no, I heard dad, it was so good. My dad told me it's like don't do coke. You're gonna like that shit too yeah. much. Yeah. And I was like, all right, cool. I heard it's so good that if I try it, I know I'm fucked. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So I got to do it. Bro, I waited till forty to do coke. And the first time I do it, I'm with my homie babysitting his kids. I'm just like yacked out of my face. And I'm like, this is the greatest thing ever. I can't wait to have kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I proposed to my girl. I'm like, I'm wow. ready to be a dad. I just, I got a glimpse of bad <laughs> shit. Yeah. I'm fucking about this, bro. This is better than being in the club. Like watching kids tear up a pool area all fucked up. I'm like, this is amazing. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? How old is Baby Face a baby? Baby Face? No. Baby face he's. Is He's like, he's like, he's like you. Probably like, in his fifties. He's sixty. Now. Oh, he's yeah. a. Oh, that's what? his. Oh, that's his. He's an actual adult. That's his nickname. Yeah. yeah well, when he came name. out, he's baby faced. You know, very smooth yeah. skin. You know. Let like, me see his yeah. face. This was him. Like, that does, I've never seen a baby with that face. There's no way. Yeah. There's one right there. He doesn't look like a baby at all. That he does. He looks like baby. I look like a baby then. Why can't I be baby? You look like a baby. Can I be baby face? Start with my baby. You look like a Simulu baby. (laughs) Simulu face. You got a Simulu face. Look at a Simulu baby. I'll be Simulu face. Yeah. I love that you went to your artist and was like, can you make me look like a baby Simulu man? (laughs) No, that was, no, fuck you, man. That was a sketch on Mad TV (laughs) where we did a sketch where they're like, we want to do a sketch where we're in Bobby's house and he has paintings of him naked around the house. And that's what the sketch, I didn't do that. Okay, dude? I like it. I like it. All right. And Damn, them, they painted Simu Lu before Simu Lu was conceived. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. So uh, would you, would you, do you, do you want to promote anything? Uh, can I give them my J.P. Morgan account number and people just start sending money? <laughs> <laughs> you got <a> Venmo? <laughs> That's what I like to promote. What, is your podcast definitely coming out with your wife? Yo, it's yeah, it's definitely happening. All right, so everyone I just don't listening. know where yet because the shitty place I signed with is getting a new sales team, and they're all like fucked up. I'm I'm about so to- I'm doing it now. Let's let's we'll so, plug it now. Yeah, all right, we're gonna have a podcast. When Eddie title is separate bedrooms, with. we don't know the title yet, but yeah. tentatively separate Probably bedrooms, separate bedrooms. And, and when Eddie is fucking, sh- you you heard him here, man. He's f- so funny, great guy. We're friends now, we're so friends. check it out. Please check it out. You followed me an hour ago. We were like <laughs> such good friends. But I'm thank you. Sorry. We're going to check. No, thank you. Plug the show that is going to exist. Do you know why I point. never followed you? Why? Because I couldn't get an audition for Fresh Off the Boat. Oh, there it is. And that's why we're here. Yo, you would have been, like you you any... been great as my dad. Like you had no, I know you had no power on it. None. But I always feel like Bro, you're they a They sued social... me the day before shooting started. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't sign my paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> So I was like, oh, I don't think that guy likes me. I couldn't even get an audition. Bro, I had no control. I know, that's right. You know, you but know. that's why now I'm following look up I the get producers. It. That's who doesn't like you. Oh, I know they don't. Yeah. I'll get them. Yeah. You will. Get them. Yeah. Get them. Get them. I love revenge. Oh, fucking revenge is the best, man. Isn't it? It's the best. But we don't do anything. We just are out of success. Mm-hmm. We just, out of being successful, we get our revenge. Yes. That is I don't actually revenge. do anything. Yeah. Do you ever get revenge and do something? I don't do anything. I think. I think uh, technically I did. <laughs> what is that? You, what I is told it? you I hit that dude with my car. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you Remember? really do revenge. <laughs> yeah, actually did. You I do was old like, school wait, revenge. Can I lie? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I've already told them I did this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You have what's wrong with your back? Oh, uh, L four, L five herniated disc oh. from back in the day. Oh, so it hurts but right I'm now. Good. Is it no, bulging? You don't extra? look good. Oh no, I'm good. I All just, right. I'm. I don't like to sit straight for too long. Oh it's really? really hard I try on to the move. Hips when you have a herniated yeah. disc, do you start to feel it down your leg? Yeah. And stuff? Now you re- you regret making fun of me in the beginning, or N- no? What'd you say, Santa Claus? Santa Claus? I said you look like Santa's helper. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cool. Okay, that's a good. That's a good. I like it. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think it's good. I love you. Yo, I want to see your Raya profile. Can you put it up? Yeah, I got it right here. Did Let's we change it, it since the last time? I did I change it a little you? bit. So, okay, good. So I'll show you. I'll show you. So I did. Um, I'll show it to you. Raya. Because I told you to change your main picture. 
And then because he was putting pictures of um, he was uh, uh, pictures of him next to other celebrities. And I was like, oh, no, no. Oh, oh. So, here, so I got so this. OK. And cute, right? Yeah. Super little cute. Moto boy. Oh, I like oh, this. Cute. Yeah. yeah. Cute. You're like, I'm serving the beef. Oh, oh yes. They beat, right? Damn. We see next. Me and with black people. You're the best. You like helped set right. this up. He's like the one black guy. Know, I such a good that's trap a, with the chef, right? Yeah, he yeah. got an accent. Uh, let's pay for him. <laughs> let's pay for right him. Oh, Great pick. Listen, then, that looks at, like you listen. stand up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stand up. Me with Sarah Jessica Parker. Oh that God. one you kept. I had to keep that one. Oh my God. Okay. That's that's dude. Yeah, that's. Fine. What Asian guy is gonna walk down the street with Sarah Jessica Parker? You. You're right. Only me. You. But I agree. You're gonna get whack chicks. And me and this white guy. You're gonna get whack girls from that. Is that should Thank I take this off? You, you have to Eddie. think about what kind off? of fish you're catching. Be yes, because Logan Logan. Paul. <laughs> Not yeah, just, like, just the, anyone that would sweat you with Sarah Jessica Parker. Cowboy is version a whack of me. Chick. That's fly. You can yes. Yeah. Cowboy version. See, you should just leave that with that photo. Just By that, that's the one. So I, should, the I take off the Logan Paul. Yeah, with a bolo tie. That's so cute. That's good, bro. She set you up for success. Thank you, Eddie. Yeah. Like you're gonna trap a hoe. No, I don't need no. You don't need no, no yeah. trappings. Any questions for him? No, you're not having kids. What's like? You know? I will. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> you uh, you kind of already answered this, but is there a real project Bobby and Eddie would do, whether it's a restaurant or a film project or I really or think clothing we should line. do a buddy cop film together. I do too. I really like. I it. also I also think that just because you 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 don't know about people until you meet them, mm -hmm. right? And him have, and I have exchanged. You know, in a non-gay way, sexual juices. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. How juices. do you do that non-sexually? By energy. Mind sex. Mind oh, sex. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know. And there's always like, as soon as I saw him, like, yeah, okay, I understand. I'm not attracted to the male form, but I'm attracted to the male mind. <laughs> Dude, dude me too, dude. That sounds gay. Yeah. That's so gay. Yeah. That's it's the gayest like, thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Dude, um, so Dr. Gay. Drew on our show last week, he was like, isn't it funny that our genitalia dictates sexual orientation? Like, depending of whether or not you like pussy or dick is supposed to be like, oh, you're gay or you aren't gay. And because he was telling me, like, I might be gay. And I was like, no, I can't eat pussy. He was like, so? He's like, that's, it's a weird thing to, like, um, to kind of make the genitalia the only thing that dictates orientation. Because it's like, oh, I would make out with a girl. I would, like, I do enjoy the company of a girl. I'm just maybe not into eating pussy. But he's like, it's, I don't know, he made a really good point for but it. That makes no sense what he just said. Yeah. That you could <laughs> still have mine. If there's a beautiful dick yeah. and a beautiful pussy in front of you, yeah. which one do you, are you drawn to? Um, Think about the most it, perfect dick. It, what do I have to do to either? <laughs> it's, it's about like, what do you, your, what are your eyes looking This is not a museum, lady. Because when I watch porn, like, I go for like lesbian porn. How about you, Eddie? If you saw a beautiful penis, and a beautiful vagina, what would you lean? I would run away from the dick <laughs> and just dive exactly. in. Exactly. But, you know, to each their own, right? Exactly. You know, I don't care. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? I don't care. Yeah. You know, I've sucked dick. But then the male mind is just so fucking hot. Like anyone exactly. ever told a joke so good. Yeah, I want to suck your mind hard? so bad, dude. No. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You're, like, you're, I want to suck. I want. <laughs> I want your mind to come in my mouth. <laughs> oh, so that's what I'm saying. Like maybe. <laughs> that's like, not gay, dude. It's not gay. It's not gay. It's not gay at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's the most gay. Yeah, no. I want to raw, raw dog your brain, bro. Yo, that's what I'm it's saying. open. It's yeah, open. Uh, yeah, business. good. It's like it's emotionally open. and psychologically gay, but not physically gay. Right, we're psychologically gay, me and Eddie. Yeah, definitely psych gay. Yeah, we're psych, psych gay. gay. No, I'm psych gay. I'm psych gay, dude, for sure. Yeah, How about you guys? I'm about to change my pronouns. After I could be this. psych gay. He, him, Full psych, psych gay. gay. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were real gay when I first met you. <laughs> and that's all it, was my that's it was my psych gay giving off a little. It was such, you had big psych game. Right. Psych the game? game? The game was the so big yeah. that I thought it was you. Yeah. Right? I tricked you. How about you, man? I prefer the company. <coughs> okay, I can't even. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I prefer the company of men. <laughs> Fuck, bro. <laughs> I don't know why that. Yeah, work. that's the gayest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, socially. Socially. No, that's the gay. I prefer the company of men. <laughs> that's like. A Yo, I actually prefer the company of women, but, you know, mind sex dudes, body sex women. I think that would be my, mm -hmm. my, my uh, most spectrum. Uh, you know what I'm saying? 
Oh, yeah. Like, you know, if I'm like gambling with Hello. the homie betting on sports, I'm like, this is intimacy. Yeah. It really like, let's is. Let's go. Though. Let's go. Fucking Bengals. You know, and they fucked us yesterday. Yeah. But like, yeah. that's like intimacy. Like gambling with the homie. Like that's fucking fire. Yeah. We're doing things together. You think you, you and I would spot out? Spa? Yeah, I love would the you spa. Go, would you go to Wee Spa with me? Yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'm being real. Yeah, Bro, I'm gonna I'll go to I'm City a, Spa. With, I like City Spa. I've never been. I'll to go City, city spa. spa with the homies. I go to you know where I go to is Hyundai Health Center. You ever go there on Sixth Street? No. The ping pong table. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm down. I'll follow you there. Let's go there. I've never been. Not today. Yeah. Not oh, today. I was ready. No, 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 not you know, today. I was ready. Damn. Yeah, I don't like your energy You're right scared. now. You're scared. you scared. L4, L5. Yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, 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 All right, no. I'll sit up. I'll sit up. No, 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 no I want your back. No, 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 please, 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 please. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't stop want that. No, you're you're so being too so eager about the no. fucking thing. I'll sit up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab your number after this fucking podcast. I you were going to say it's nuts. I was like really worried. I'm going to grab your nuts after this podcast. All right, give Eddie a round of applause, everybody. Give him a round of applause. Look out for his podcast. Donnie, I'm a couple of